petroleum or crude oil is found in geological formations beneath the Earth's surface. It is formed when large quantities of dead organisms, mostly zooplankton and algae, are buried underneath sedimentary rock and subjected to both intense heat and pressure. The fossilized organic compounds of ancient life on Earth sure do provide us with a handy way to get around. But what happens if we just continue to use oil? Will we ever run out? The answer is rather complicated. For starters, we don't actually know how much oil the Earth has. There are a number of different ways to categorize oil from proved reserves to those that are technically recoverable. And even these don't all describe how much oil might actually sit underneath the Earth. When talking about oil, many statistics focus on proved reserves. According to an estimate, the total proved reserves of the planet's oil in 2019 were 1.7 trillion barrels. Yearly global consumption in 2019 was about 36 billion barrels. A basic calculation reveals that if proved reserves didn't grow and if consumption remained constant at 2019 levels, it would take only about 48 years, meaning sometime in 2067 to exhaust those reserves. The trouble is, proved reserves only represent the oil that a given region can theoretically extract based on the infrastructure it has planned or in place. According to many analysts, this is only the tip of the iceberg. In other words, technology has a big impact on what's considered a proved reserve. Other technological developments in recent decades such as horizontal drilling or hydraulic fracturing have also contributed to increasing the world's proved reserves despite an increase in global consumption. As technology changes over time, different agencies are also focusing on what they call technically recoverable resources, a term applying to oil that can be extracted using current methods and technology but that may not be profitable. As a result, these aren't necessarily great numbers to determine how much oil is realistically available to us. But the numbers for technically recoverable oil do exceed proved reserves in many regions. The United States, for example, has approximately 344 billion barrels of technically recoverable oil, compared to only 42 billion barrels of proved reserves. According to energy finance analysts, asking how long oil will last isn't necessarily the right question. The question should be how long will we want it and at what price. The production of oil depends on demand and development of technology. Proved reserves will always fluctuate with demand as demand dictates the price. If the price was high enough, the cost of extraction would be worthwhile. Even high oil prices can be a two-edged sword for producers, since high costs can inspire consumers to search for other sources of power. Alternative sources of fuel like natural gas or renewable energy are also eating into the demand for oil. Demand for oil has grown non-stop more or less since the Industrial Revolution and is expected to continue to grow until at least 2030. And oil production can potentially stay at very high levels long after peak oil, thereby continuing to contribute to global CO2 emissions and climate change. We may well have enough oil to last us another 50 years, whether this time is enough to wean ourselves off the fossil fuel before it runs out remains to be seen. If we continue to burn all the world's oil, there is little chance to save the climate from runaway global warming. We need to reduce the emissions of greenhouse gases very significantly if global temperature increases are to be kept at 2 degrees Celsius in this century. That's all for today's video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.